My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. I can't remember the exact year, but coolers have been bottled and sold commercially since the early 1980s. When these coolers first arrived on the scene, they were pretty much all wine-based. Today, they're mostly spirit-driven. Vodka and rum-based, they're usually very high in sugar content. They taste good, are super convenient, but unfortunately there's usually a, a lot of additives, colors, and preservatives in them. They typically range anywhere from 4 to or 5% up to 7% alcohol volume, so they can get you snookered pretty fast. <laughs> it was the year before coolers actually hit the market that I came out with my own version of the cooler. It was a spritzer flavored with liqueurs. Pretty simple. I had six different creations my guests could choose from. There was a citrus green lime splash, a juicy strawberry splash, an orange pear splash, a cinnamon apple splash, a wild blackberry splash, and my favorite, the banana melon splash. They were light, refreshing, and definitely potent. Well, let me tell you, they went over like a lead balloon. I thought, well, what did I do wrong? They tasted good to me. People just weren't ready for these crazy coolers. So I put the brakes on and just stopped making them. <laughs> Okay, fast forward one year later. I believe Seagram's Wild Berry Cooler was one of the first to hit the market. I thought, hey, I'll just dust off my summer splash recipes, hmm, and reintroduce them as something new and see, just, just see what happens. Well, wouldn't you know it, people just loved them. Go figure. Today I'm gonna make the summer spritzing banana melon splash for you. There's a mouthful. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, so I guess we need to figure out a glass to use, eh? Hmm. I'm gonna use a wine glass because I know it's 12 ounces. So first thing is ice. Fill that up. A little more. I like I like ice, you know? I do. I really like ice. And then we need some wine. Now today I've chosen uh, a Woodbridge, uh, Woodbridge Pinot Grigio. It's out of California, and um, there's a lot of citrus going on already, so it's going to complement the rest of our our drink there. So we fill a half full of wine, and we've got this guy right here. It's banana liqueur McGinnis, just a half ounce. And we got this one, a half ounce of melon liqueur, McGinnis as well. And we're gonna to top it with a little lemon lime. A little lemon lime. Now it's always a good idea to prep your garnish ahead of time because then your drink doesn't get watery. And I've just done that, right like that. Little banana, little melon. Doesn't that look neat? Couple little straws. Ladies, you are gonna love this drink. And guys, you're gonna love it too. Why wouldn't you? Mmm. That's light, refreshing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be happy, be safe. Please, please drink responsibly. Cheers. That's really good. Yeah.
If you're mowing the grass and somebody just handed you one of these, phew, yeah. <laughs> you're hot, you're sweaty, yum. <laughs> what am I doing? I like those off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs> you just finished mowing the grass. What the yeah, hell? Have another shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. If you like this episode, support us and subscribe. There's a lot more on the way.